The Orange County Board of Education is filing a lawsuit against the governor and the state public health officer. Board members are fighting to reopen campuses for the upcoming school year. NBC4's Vicki Vargas explains parents appear to be split on this fight. The Orange County Board of Education says this is what a school campus should look like the next time the school bell rings. They contend parents need the option of sending their children into a classroom and are worried there will be a learning disparity if all classes start online. We are arguing on behalf of uh, children all across the state who uh, are in the position where they're going to fall through the cracks because, because of the circumstances that they might have at home. At its meeting last night, the board heard from some parents who agree. We need the children back in school. However, the elected board can only recommend how districts move forward. Orange County's largest school district, Santa Ana Unified, had prepared to bring students back using CDC guidelines. But Governor Newsom says no school can reopen until their county is off the watch list. Classes start here August 17th. No one will be on campus. Well, if you're asking what is the detriment to have our children in person, um, we can have families that die from COVID. Valeria Mesqua says because the city of Santa Ana remains a hot spot of coronavirus cases, she cannot imagine sending children back into schools. And we understand that COVID is real. And we all know somebody who has it, has had it, or who's sadly passed away from it. The county superintendent says about the lawsuit, I am highly disappointed but not surprised. He says the board is highly litigious and is trying to satisfy their own ideological interests. We believe that every school district should be open. Every school district should provide in-person learning because the science does not justify shutting down the schools. The injunction is expected to be filed next week. Lawyers for the board say they are doing it at no cost. Vicki Vargas, NBC4 News.